você.
president is on his way, so let us allow maybe five, ten minutes. Shall we start? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 16 of the Constitution of the Federated States of Micronesia and Title 3, Section 201 of the Code of the Federated States of Micronesia as set forth in the official rules of procedure of the FSM Congress, I hereby call the 23rd Congress of the Federated States of Micronesia third regular session to order. Pursuant to and, Article uh, 9, Section 16 of the Constitution of the Federal rise States for a moment of silence and for Title there 3, is a Section 201 why of the Code of the Federal outside of States of Micronesia, as I would like forth, to ask if we could keep the in reasons the official rules of the procedure of the FSM Congress, I hereby call the 23rd Congress of the Federal States, States of Micronesia, we rise third for a moment of silence and prayer to order. And uh, as we rise for a moment of silent prayer. There is a reason why the flags outside are flying half-mast, and I would like to ask if we could keep the reasons in the prayers that we'll, we will be saying silently today. So may we all rise for a moment of silent prayer. <laughs> Chief Clerk, please call the roll. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Abel Alfonso. Hey, my Happy New Year, Corusia. Senator Aritos. Yes. Senator Christian. Senator Figuier. Yes. Senator Colon. Chief Clerk, please call the Senator roll. Harper. Senator Conman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Senator Abel Lord Alfonso. Lord Leader Lawrence. Hey, my. Hey, my. Happy New Year. Senator Nimeya. Yes. Vice Speaker Romalo. Senator Rosamaz. Senator Aritos. Yes. yes. Senator Wally. Speaker Moses. Hey, my. Mr. Speaker, 10 members are present. Thank you, Chief Clerk. We have a quorum to conduct business this morning. Vice Speaker Next Romalo. Item, Clerk. Mr. Speaker. Chairman Christian. Senator Rosamaz. As earlier requested, may I be excused? Senator Wally. About an hour. Speaker Moses. Hey, Amen. Mr. Speaker, 10 members are present. Thank you, Chief Clerk. We have a quorum to conduct business this point morning. Privilege. Next Speaker, item, Chief point. Clerk. Floor Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Chairman Christian. Good morning to you. And As earlier good morning requested, to all may members. I be excused may for one happy new year? Hour. You may. Uh, I take this opportunity now, Mr. Speaker, to introduce um, Mr. Speaker. our distinguished Speaker. guest who State your point. have joined us today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the third regular session. Good morning to you and good morning Congress. to all members. And I would like to begin with New Year. recognizing and welcoming uh, His Excellency. opportunity now, Mr. Speaker. Wesley Simina, President of the Federated um, States of Micronesia. Our distinguished guest who have joined us today in the gallery for the third regular The Honorable Aaron B. Palik, Vice President of the Federated States of Micronesia. I would like to begin with recognizing and welcoming his Excellency, Let's Wesley Simina, President of the Federated States of Micronesia. The Honorable Aaron B. Palik, Vice President of the Federated States of Micronesia. Let's also welcome members of the President's Cabinet who are here with us today. It, also, it's, it is also always an honor to have visitors from sister states in the Federation. And today, it is an honor to first introduce to you our governor, or the governor of the state of Chuk, the Honorable Alexander Naroon. And also with us, the Governor of the State of Kashrai, the Honorable Dalenza Palik. I'm also pleased to introduce the members of the Diplomatic Corps who have joined us, and I will begin with the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Ambassador Joanne Cowley, Australian Embassy. Ambassador Wu Wei, Embassy of the People's Republic of China. <laughs> Ambassador Jennifer L. Johnson, Embassy of the United States of America. <laughs> and Ambassador Kachomiya Nopuo, Embassy of Japan. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, and it's always a pleasure to welcome our guests, especially during the first day of session. Next item, Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That is item four, appointment of committee to wait on the president. Thank you. I would like now to appoint chairman of the committee to wait on the president, uh, Senator Nimia from Chuk. Member Chairman Urzumal from the state of Yap. Madam Chair Abelio Alfonso from the state of Pohnpei. And Vice Speaker Romolo, who will be sitting on behalf of the state of Kosai. Next item, Chief Clerk. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That is item five, presidential communications. We are in receipt of numbers 23-150 to number 23-214. Thank you. Uh, chairman and members, please take note. Next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That is item six, FSM Supreme Court Communications. We have numbers 23-03 to number 23-06. Thank you, Chief Clerk. Please assign those. Next item. Speaker, point of privilege. Uh, Vice Speaker, please state your point. Thank you very much, Speaker. Good morning to you and esteemed colleagues. Before I uh, state my point of privilege uh, to introduce uh, some very important constituents, uh, leaders, and uh, citizens of our nation. Today is the hardest uh, day of uh, the 20th, 23rd Congress. But with that, <clears throat> I wish to try my best to introduce these very important people whom my number one should have introduced. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker and distinguished members, I wish to introduce <coughs> these individuals who are in this gallery this morning observing our morning session and I begin with the governor of Koshai, to Lens Rapalik. With him is the AG of Koshai State, Mr. John Sadasir. Also in the gallery, Mr. Speaker and distinguished members. We also have the former Senator Rollinson Net, and also staff of the Koshai delegation, Elise. Pelma and Ruti. Also in the gallery, Mr. Speaker, is staff of the governor's office, Hans Skilling. May we all give them a round of applause. Thank you, Vice Speaker, for that. Chief Clerk, next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're now on item number seven, member communications. As of now, we do not, do not have any, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 8, Departmental Communications. We are in receipt of numbers 23-29 to number 23-36. Next item. Item 9, Agency or Governmental Authority Communications. We have numbers 23-07 to number 23-17. Thank you. Please assign those. Next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're on item number 10 now, and that is state communications. We are in receipt of numbers 23-21 to number 23-26. Thank you. Please assign those. And chairman, chair, chairpersons, please take note of some of the communications from the states. Next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're on item number 11, State Supreme Court Communications. None, Mr. Speaker. Continue. Item 12, Municipal or Town Communications. None also. Item 13, Foreign Government Communications. We have numbers 23-31 to number 23-52. Thank you. Next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That is item 14, miscellaneous communications. We have one and it's number 23-06. Thank you. Order of the day. Under order of the day, Mr. Speaker, we have uh, item number 15, that is standing committee reports. As of now, we do not have any reports, Mr. Speaker. Continue. Item 16, special committee reports. None also, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 17, for assignment of measures and communications, please refer to referral sheet number 23-29. Chairman and members, please take note. Next item. Unfinished business for item 18, none, Mr. Speaker. Continue. 
Item 19, Pil Calanter, none also. Item 20, Resolution Calanter, none, Mr. Speaker. Item 21, Introduction of Bills and Resolutions. Speaker. Uh, floor reader. Yeah, if I may, um, if there are no announcements, I, I, I wish to move that we stand in recess until tomorrow morning. At the Short recess. Congress is back in the session. There Wait. was a motion for recess, but it was not seconded, so mm. Chief Clerk, continue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're now on item number 22, miscellaneous business. Any miscellaneous business? Point of privilege, Mr. Speaker. Madam Chair Conman, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Dirobafairo, with greetings, happy, blessed New Year. Mr. Speaker, and all members of the 23rd FSM Congress and families. Greetings with humble respect to Pon Bay, traditional leaders, government leaders, and people of Pon Bay. Tiro Mefai Raparap One, His Excellency, Mr. President Sivira, and Mr. Vice President Bali, and your families. All cabinet members, all distinguished dignitaries, especially our Honorable uh, U.S. Ambassador, Madame Chanson, Honorable Ambassador Cho Kali, Ambassador of Japan, Nobuo, and Honorable Ambassador Wu Wei of China. My greetings and humble respect to our Governor of Koshrai, Honorable Donensa Palik, and your delegation. Thank you very much for joining us today. Furthermore, I would like to express our sincere appreciation to Ambassador Johnson and Ambassador Cho Kali, Kali for joining the ninth woman, FSM Women Conference in Kosrai State. Without your presence and contribution, the conference would not be that great, meaningful, and successful. Because of you, we are able to take few critical steps forward in addressing the urgent needs of the communities. Kalang and lap to Mr. Speaker Moses and Kula to our late Chairman Willy. All members of Congress for supporting the Women Conference. Secondly, appreciation to our Ambassador Wu Wei of China for the invitation and trip to China in December 2023 for the heads of the regions in Chuk who, were, who took part in this effort. More sincere appreciation to the Pacific Partnership of 2023 for all the services you are providing to the people of FS. I hope in the future ENT and urology subspecialties, CD scan and mammogram can be retained for daily services in the four states of FSM. For our FSM Congress, 23rd FSM Congress family, 
My sincere condolences to you all and families. My respect, condolences to Mrs. Shrew, Welly, children, grandchildren, people of Koshwai. Tilora Parab, Fiti Kapo and Tubun, Mereti Peta. Mrs. Miriam Harper, Fabi, Aravasu Tub. We are not immune to loss of our loved ones. But through prayers, petitions to our Heavenly Father, who is the only living God, we can find peace. I would like to share a Bible first in Philippians chapter 4, 4 to 7. Let your tenderness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayers and petitions, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Madam Chair Godman. Any more miscellaneous business? If none, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wish to say on our behalf to convey our utmost thank you to the family of the late Chairman Welly. During his funeral, we all know that Chairman Welly won a simple funeral. <clears throat> However, we are thankful to the brother and the family for allowing the designated representative from Congress to convey our final farewell and goodbye to our dear colleague. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I, on our behalf, collective behalf, wish to thank the family, especially the wife and the brother who have given us that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Speaker. Chairman Urusmal. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Most of what I wanted to say had already been spoken by the previous two speakers speaking on the issues that have faced this Congress and this nation for the past few weeks. Chairman Woody and I became very close. He took a trip to the Outer Islands of Yap, accompanying Chairman Fagir and I, and our staff from the delegation, through all the Outer Islands of Yap. In meetings with the communities, I recall Chairman Willie indicating to the people who were present at our meetings that though he was from Kushai, in a way he, is also rep he was also representing those people because he was a member of the National Congress. Very fitting. Though many times in this chamber, from previous Congresses to the early part of this Congress, we disagree on things and on issues especially pertaining to our two states. At the end of each session, we always found time to shake hands and to thank each other and to understand that each of us are trying to represent 
the best of our ability and our knowledge of our two states. And I know in his heart, as it is always in my heart, that we do things, we may disagree, but we always end up agreeing at the end of each session. Many times when we travel together on trips, I get to learn things from Chairman Willie things that may be small, may be big, but I always end up trying to imitate or to copy what he would do. During our last session, we disagree on things, especially pertaining to the issue that is not yet being resolved in this nation. When I was informed of Chairman Willie's passing, I was hopeful that there would be time that I would go to Kushai and bid farewell to my friend. But I was later, later informed by our legal staff, Alex Johnson, and the staff of the delegation, that the family and the state of Kushai wish to honor the wish of Chairman Willy by having a very simple funeral. And I had asked I like to convey to the family, especially the spouse of Chairman Willie, my sincere condolence, condolences and my sympathy to her and the kids, as well as the brother. Former Florida Harper and I used to sit close to each other, and he often called me my brother. Sinkoro Harper and I went to school together at that little hill in Chuk, Mabuchi. We were classmates growing up together on that hill. Though we got separated by after we graduated, he went his way and I went my way. After I came back to FSM, I, was, I learned of Sinkoro Harper being a member of the Chuk State Legislature, and at one time, floor leader, and I believe speaker of the Chuk State Legislature. The late chairman, uh, the late Bernie Martin used to joke about no, it wasn't the late Bernie Martin. It was another Panaben classmate who used to joke that I campaigned hard for the student body president at Xavier and beat Bernie Martin out. But as far as Sinkoro Harper, after he joined Congress, we became good friends again, and I depended on him on issues for uh, that I would need, especially the big delegation of Juk support on, and many times he delivered. So yes, this Congress lost two very able leaders. And I believe not only this Congress, but the nation as a whole. During these challenging moments, let me introduce Mr. Speaker first. My nephew, who is here, came from Guam 
to attend funeral of the of a, per, a person who passed away in Guam that is known to I think all of us and that is Father Ken Father Kenneth Urmolu Sitting in the back and speaker is Samuel Ilosuka staying in Guam working in Guam and a company the remains of Father Ken with some other relatives here, Monday. So in the church, in the Catholic Church, we also, the church, the diocese lost two vicars. One from Ponepe, Father Ken, Kenneth Urmolik, and one from Chuk. Father Rosento Rudolph, who passed away in Philippines and awaiting transportation to Chuk, an arrangement for transportation to Chuk. So this new year, though happy, because we are true believer that death is not the end of the world, but the beginning of life after that. So we are very hopeful that though we have missed and have lost two of our colleagues and two leaders of the Catholic Church, we, we will meet the challenges and come out hopefully better than what we were. I know Father Ken work very hard to help young people through education. And in his prayers, he always asks for more young people to become priests and nuns. So let's honor all of those that have lost their lives by putting a li little bit more effort in our work during these challenging times, especially not only for their loss, but also the uncertainty about our future as far as fundings are concerned. So with that, uh, Mr. Speaker, I thank the a leadership of this nation who are here. I thank our friends from the embassies here in Ponepe, and I thank all of those people that honor Father again upon arrival here in Ponepe from Monday through yesterday burial and all of those people in Guam that also participated in the memorial services and in supporting the relatives who went to mourn the death of Father Ken Urmoli. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chairman Urusmal. Have any more miscellaneous business? Point of privilege. Uh, State Mr. your Speaker. point. Uh, Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. In much has been said on the very sentiment of this Congress about our major loss, but I would like to register for the record also my my own feelings about what has just transpired over the past week. Today, we gather in this hollow chamber. Our hearts are heavy with profound sorrow and an overwhelming sense of loss. We come together not only as representative of the people, but also as a family united in grief and remembrance 
for two remarkable individuals who have left an intelligible mark on this fair institution. In the span of just 48 hours apart over the past week, we have bid farewell to two cherished colleagues whose unwavering dedication and tireless service have shaped the very fabric of this Congress. Their sudden departure has left a void that cannot be filled, and their absence will be def deeply felt by each and every one of us. First, let's remember our esteemed colleague, Chairman Balignawali, whose passion for international relations and unwavering commitment to public service serve as an inspiration to us all. Throughout their East tenure, he has fought tirelessly for the rights and well-being of the people of not only Koshoi, but of this great nation, never wavering in their pursuit of a mere equitable and just society. His wisdom, intellect, and unwavering moral compass guided us through countless debates and decisions, leaving an intelligible impact on the legislation that we've crafted and the lives that we sought to improve. In the wake of this profound loss, we are also mourning the passing of the unhonorable Singular Harbor, a true statesperson whose legacy will forever be hatched in the annals of these esteemed institutions. With the remarkable ability to bridge the fight and find common ground, he embodied the spirit of unity and the pursuit of common good. His unwavering commitment to collaboration and his ability to build bridges across the chamber has not only shaped legislation, but also fostered a sense of unity that we so desperately need in these challenging times. Today, as we honor the memory of these extraordinary individuals, let us also remember the families they leave behind. To their loved ones, we offer our deepest condolences and unwavering support. We understand that no words can fully express the magnitude of your loss, but we stand ready to provide desperately I mean, comfort and solace in any way we can. In the face of such profound grief, let us also find solace in the knowledge that their legacies will endure, their tireless efforts, their unwavering commitment to the principles of democracy and advancing sustainable development of our country and their relentless pursuit of a better future for all will continue to guide us as we carry their torch forward. As we navigate the challenges that lie ahead, let us honor the memory of our fallen colleagues by redirecting ourselves to the principles they held dear. Let us strive to emulate their unwavering dedication, their spirit of collaboration, their unyielding pursuit of justice. In doing so, we will ensure that their impact on this institution and our nation is not only remembered, but also perpetuated for generations to come. May we find strength in our shared memories, solace in the line of knowledge of their work lives on, and unity in our collective commitment to honor their legacy. Today, Mr. Speaker, let us stand together as Congress, remembering our fallen colleagues and following to carry their vision forward. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Nimiya. Any more miscellaneous business?
If none, before we move on, it's evident by what has been said today, and we have received the official communications from two sides, so I hereby declare the Election District 1, Congressional Election District 1 seat in Chuuk due to the untimely passing of Senator Sincoro Harper. I hereby declare that seat vacant. I also am declaring the Election District 1 seat in the state of Koshai vacated by the untimely passing of our good chairman, Paulette Nawili, also vacant. So I would like to now officially instruct staff to uh, prepare the communication to the President's office and the FSM National Election Director to prepare us and move us forward so that we may fill those vacated seats. So thank you all. Next item, Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That is item 23, announcements. Chairman Vigir. Madam Chair Abelio Alfonso. No announcements at the moment, Mr. Speaker. Chairman Artus. Thank you, Speaker, no announcements. Chairman Christian. Senator Nimia. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, your committee to wait on the, uh, His Excellency, Mr. President. We will be meeting with him after consolidation with him that uh, he will be available at 1 p.m. today. So uh, I hope we can get together before that. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Madam Chair Conman. No announcement. Thank you. Chairman Rusmal. Vice Speaker Romolo. No announcement. Floor Leader Lawrence. Any announcement? No. Your usual motion. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, I move that Congress stands in recess until tomorrow morning at 10. Second. Any second? It's been moved and seconded that Congress stand in recess until tomorrow at 10. If no objection, we will vote. All those in favor of the said motion say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. Congress stands in recess until 10 a.m. tomorrow.